I am wearing this red tie proudly today because I am here to congratulate the NEA and teachers all over this country who have had the courage to march on their state capital to demand we change national priorities in this country that instead of giving tax breaks to billionaires and subsidies to the fossil fuel industry that we invest in the children of this country and in education. And I want to tell you that the courage of the teachers is reverberating all over this country. Working people from coast to coast are now demanding an economy that works for all of us, not just the 1%. Teachers, thank you very much. Made it by three seconds. Uh, I get a minute? You get a minute to give an opening statement. Folks, Folks look, uh, I'm uh, my deceased wife is a teacher. My present wife of 42 years, Jill, is still teaching. And I taught in school. I, uh, I taught in law school. I was a substitute teacher. And uh, I came away with three things uh, from all this experience. Number one is teachers is not what you all do. It's who you are. But the thing, well, for real, for real, and you hold more than any other profession, you hold the future of this country in your hands. They, you know, I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating. It's a fact. Look, folks, all these children are our children. They're all our children. They're the kite strings that lift our national ambitions of law, and they're in your hands. And we don't treat you with enough respect or dignity, we don't pay you enough, and I promise you, if I am your president, it will change on day one. to make an opening statement to this amazing group. Good, so, so first, first let me say, say hello NEA, hello teachers. just thank you for what you do every day. Our educators, our educators, you are raising our children. There are two groups of people raising our children. Parents often with the assistance of grandparents and aunties and uncles and you. And I thank you, you are not paid your value, which is why I am proposing what will be the first in the nation's history, federal investment in closing the teacher pay gap, but thinking of teachers also as our educators, it's our bus drivers, it's our cafeteria workers, it's our custodians. And what we will do is close that gap on average is $13,500 a year, and we will close it by the federal investment in closing that gap. It'll be a matching fund with states, because here's my belief, and it's a strong belief. I believe you can judge a society based on how it treats its children. And I believe there is no greater expression of love that a society can extend toward its children than to invest in their education and by extension, their educators. 
Thank you.